Hey everybody, this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine, and today we're going to continue with our series on improvisation. We're going to learn a few new scales that you can work with. All right, so far we've done the notes of the chord, the major pentatonic scale, the major blues scale, the major scale, just the regular major scale of the key. And today we're going to move on outside of the key again. Last week we did the major blues, which added some notes outside of the scale of the key. We're going to continue with that by adding, we're going to work with the minor pentatonic scale and the blues scale. We're going to also mention the chromatic scale. Um, I'm going to refer back to this video that Tim May and I did years ago uh, for the lesson, but uh, Tim talks about folded scales in this video when he's uh, demonstrating how to fold the, the minor uh, pentatonic scale and the minor blues scale. I did a video on folded scales that you can find on the website if you don't know what those are about. I did it on the mandolin, but the same thing applies to any instrument. Also, when they, we talk about chromatic scale and neighboring notes, I, uh, I did a video uh, a while back about how to learn music by ear and how to create a solo from a, mel a melody, and I talked about that neighboring note idea, so you can refer back to that when, when we talk about neighboring notes uh, referencing the chromatic scale. And uh, yeah, so I think that's all the prep work you need for this coming video on um, the minor pentatonic scale and the blues scale that's built off of that minor pentatonic scale by adding one note to it. Just like we added one note to the major pentatonic scale to make the major blues, we're going to add one note to the minor pentatonic scale to make uh, the blues scale. And that would be the blues scale that people would refer to if they're playing rock or blues and they say this is the blues scale. That scale that we're going to show you would be the scale that um, they would be talking about there. So let's go ahead and run that uh, clip from that old video and then uh, I'll see you briefly after that's over. Okay, there's two more scales that we want to add to our scale list and everything we've talked about so far has been fairly consonant of the, of the scale of the key. Um, two more scales that you're going to want to practice and become familiar with. Uh, one is fairly straightforward, which is the chromatic scale, which is playing every note on every fret up and down. It's half step between, between every note. And you'll want to add a little bit of flavor to some of your improvisations by playing, uh, you know, going maybe moving back a half step and up, up a half step. You know, there's, there's these neighboring note concepts. There's, there's different things that you can play around with. We're not going to talk about it in much uh, depth because we, we have some examples of, of the neighboring note technique in the book. Um, again, this comes from our scale category. It's just uh, using notes that are neighboring notes to our major scale notes for flavor and color. A little bit of dissonance, a little bit of tension, and uh, it's a good technique to use uh, for that purpose. The next scale we need to mention is the minor pentatonic scale, because this scale is, is, is the roots of blues music. It comes from uh, a long tradition in blues, and as, as everybody knows, I mean, rock and roll and jazz and, and even, even some, some degree folk music and bluegrass was built from the blues in the, in the United States, these, these, these sort of music, musical genres that were developed here um, are deeply rooted in the blues and the, uh, the minor pentatonic scale and then the blues scale, which is a, a, you know, a, one, a, de a development off of the a minor pentatonic scale, are so prevalent in the styles of music that we hear in the United States and you know now around the world that uh, we need to mention that and talk about that a little bit and show how you might use a blues scale uh, in, in playing any, any form of music that, that you might want to play. So Tim, why don't you talk about the minor pentatonic blues scale and then we'll, we'll do some application. Okay, so remember penta means five, so we've got five tones. Uh, so if we're gonna play the, the uh, G minor pentatonic, um, we, gotta, we just got to know the numbers again. We got the root, which is G. We have the flat third, which is B flat. If I count the scale up in a major scale, one, two, three, there's my B. I flat that. It's the flat third. One, flat third, four, five, flat seven. If I played a, a G major scale, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. I'm gonna flat that seventh note of the scale. One, flat third, four, five, flat seven. Okay, so that's the notes of the minor pentatonic scale. Just play that one time through and, and, and people will recognize it. Yeah. I mean, if, you, if you listen to any rock or blues, you know, lots of rock licks come out of that. Blues is built on that. Mm -hmm. It's just so prevalent. You've heard that before. Yeah, and a lot of people play the closed, closed version of that. And, you know, rock and roll blues players play that a lot. Um, so that's just a scale, right? It falls under the scale category. Um, but we can also take that and we can fold it. So we can take any scale and fold it. And so if I take a four note pattern, I'm gonna start here um, on a G. Remember that's the octave. Here's my G and there's a G. I'm gonna start this, this uh, folded scale up here and I'm folding a, a minor pentatonic, four note. I've got, same as I did with the major scale, I've got a straight. So at any given time, if I'm improvising, I can rock back and forth with those the same right. way we did with the major scale. Did and so to add the blues scale. Yeah, add the next, blues scale. Yeah, that, yeah. Or make a blues scale out of it. Um, we take the same minor pentatonic. And we're just going to add one note and we're going to call it a blues scale or the blues scale. There's my one, flat third, four, we're going to add a sharp four or a flat five. There's the note we're adding. So you probably recognize that sound too. So we're just taking a minor pentatonic scale and adding one note to it. So now it's technically not a um, pentatonic scale because it's got six notes, but it's derived from it. So sometimes you'll hear people call it a minor pentatonic. Uh, minor blue scale um, but uh, so then we can fold that right and so any of this stuff now we're in this blues mode depending on the song if it's a real gritty kind of bluesy song you could do this if it's kind of more of a pretty song um, you would go to uh, you know the, the straight diatonic scale so you got another thing in your arsenal and this is going to be where you're going to live Almost the entire time for some songs, as in the in the uh, modern pentatonic world, or for some genres. If you're if you're blues, mm -hmm. that's that's your home. If that you're is rock, it, yeah. that's pretty much right. your home too. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to learn that. Um, if you're a, a a bluegrass player, I mean, Bill Monroe developed this style uh, with a good go dose of the blues mixed in, and a lot mm -hmm. of the bluegrass guitar players um, play that scale and and use it fairly heavily. Uh, do you want to? me to just play as, uh, again a one four five major progression uh, and, and see how that lays over that. Yeah and uh, with with this uh, Dan teaches uh, uh, students this uh, sometimes which is a good good idea where you, you basically just play the uh, the minor the G minor pentatonic in the key of G over any one four five mm -hmm. change and it, it the chances are it's going to work pretty nicely. I'm going to, we're going to talk about one more thing when it goes to the D chord or the five chord. Um, but other than that, you can pretty much play this and get away with any of the notes without really even worrying about targeting chord tones and stuff. Yeah, and you know, a lot of your uh, uh, you know blues guys will just play uh, the two the two note chord, right? If you get a bluesy, rocky sort of thing, you can play this over that. Uh, a lot of the the, the blues based jazz will will throw in all seventh chords. But you can just play major chords, and this will fit, um, and it'll sound great. Shall we? Yep. One, two, three, four. about it is that when I'm playing the major chords and he's, he's using the blues scale or the, or the minor pentatonic scale, it, it gives it sort of a lonesome, sort of uh, eerie, sort of lonesome sound, which, you know, old time in, in bluegrass music sort of uh, has that as part of its character. Mm -hmm. So just, just choosing those notes will, will change, really change the color of, of, of playing over major chords like, like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
Now, there's one. There's only one little caveat, one little problem with playing uh, the blues. That's that's a little more complicated than playing diatonic uh, scales. Um, and that is that when we go to a five chord, anytime we go to a five chord and in G, the key of G, that's going to be a D chord. Um, to really get the, the notes that are sonically pleasing and really what we want is to avoid over a D chord, we don't really want a B flat. There's my B flat. Well, that B flat is a part of the G minor pentatonic. So unlike the diatonic scales where we can just run them all over those chords, we have to switch over in this case, and I'm sorry, uh, but we have to switch over to the D minor pentatonic. It's just the way it is. You can get away with playing the G minor pentatonic over, over C or you know almost anything else. And I was just playing, I continued to play the G minor pentatonic over D just then. And it's okay, you can sort of get away with it, but we, we want to be right on it, right? We want to play exactly the right note. So when I go to D, I need to switch over to the D minor pentatonic. We're going to find the notes the same way. We got D, we got the flat third, which is F, we got the uh, four, which is G, the five, which is A, and the flat seven, which is uh, C. Okay. So I have to switch over to that because now I have an A note, and that's going to work over my D. I was playing G minor pentatonic, I had to be flat and I want to get rid of it. So we got to make that switch and you would do that for any key that you're in. Now keep in mind too, the blues scale and the, uh, and the minor pentatonic are very much related because the blues scale is derived from it. I can do that for D, one, flat third, four, sharp the four, five, flat seven. So let's let's do the improv again, and uh, I'll switch over to that D. Okay. And then I'll, uh, the first time through, I'll just do the minor pentatonic, uh, and then the second time, I'll do the blues scale over D. Okay. And then in all other cases for G and C, I'm going to play the G minor pentatonic. All right. All right. Let me mention one thing I'm doing rhythmically with my G chord mm -hmm. is that I'm playing. I'm, I'm not really playing a, a G chord. A chord, by definition, is made of three tones. I'm not playing the B note in my G chord because, again, because that scale has a B flat note in it, that B note of the G chord and the B flat note of the scale can rub against each other a little bit. Um, so what I'm doing in my G chord is I'm playing um, I'm playing a D note. I mean right here instead of like a standard G chord that most everybody learns when they're first starting out is here and I have a B note here and I have a B note here so what I'm doing is I'm changing I'm playing my G chord like this which I'm muting this this the A string so I have no B note there and I'm playing a D note here and that what that what that gives us is uh, it has no third so because it has no third, it's neither major or minor, and it, and it fits better with, with the blues. And the, the rock guys do the same thing. They don't play the third when they're playing these power chords. So that's just one, one idea to throw out there. So let's do this yep. example. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thanks everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and that you can uh, get out your instrument and start working out the minor pentatonic scale and the blues scale and fit those into your, your solos. Next time we'll talk about how to integrate all these scales that we've been talking about in this series of uh, lessons on improvisation up to this point. So this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine. We'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>